Hey guys, RX Manga here, coming at you with my much anticipated collection video slash room tour. Don't know what I'm calling it quite yet, probably going to do them both. So starting right off right away since we're at a weird starting point here, what is this? This would be the domain of my first and greatest collection, the fridge. I bet you can't guess what's in here. Oh yes, thank the lords above. Oh, I think I'm up to like 26 now, but uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to start this video today. Mm, all right, let's get into the actual good stuff. So here we are guys, at the room where it all happens. 200 subs in and the room tour is here. So starting off with the lovely alchemist map for the entryway coming up let's start off with just the rock band guitar over there and in we go so here's everything once over real quick and we'll start from the right and work our way in starting behind the door we got a couple little replica guys we got the scissor blades from kill a kill both are autographed by senketsu and ryuko we got the Master Sword behind there, Tensa's on Getsu in the back, and Sasuke's blade. Uh, I think that's like Leaf Cutter or something like that. And on top of this little shelf, this is my uh, TBR shelf, and uh, we got sneak peeks for the, uh, what is it, May Manga Hall, and then everything I've read for the April Reading Challenge. So we got all that stuff. Uh, TBR, we've got Vinland Saga I'm reading right now, and then I'm going to hit Planet Tets. Once I'm done with these guys, I should have 60 volumes read for the Manga Challenge by Apollo Gray. we got some delicious sunflower seeds. I just won this today, actually, for some little raffle thing, so that's going towards more manga for this haul. we got the computer, where the magic happens, some seeds I'm eating, we got a little Lucy Cat there, reading lamp. We got the DC Comics thing, and the main stuff is right over here. I guess over here we can talk about the TV and where my Xbox is supposed to be, but the fiance is watching Grey's Anatomy right now. So we got two lights going on, a closet I don't really use, it's stuffed full of crap, my old wrestling gear from high school, the glory days, and we've got a shelf dedicated to half crap from the boxes and whatnot you get some of the stuff's pretty nice up here but most of it's crap and we've got some comic books we can start off with our two bookends which are very 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 nice i love those things two um what you call them banks little money banks i collect two dollar bills and uh, one dollar coins and stuff in here uh that one's empty and I'm just going to breeze through these because these will get their own video. I've got some trades and graphic novels for DC. Pretty much DC exclusive. And then we got Attack on Titan Anthology there. Just because I thought it fit nicer over there. Speaking of comics, we've got two extra boxes of comics. Some comics I don't have filed away yet. And the label maker there. And then I just got these recently. They're my little drawer, drawer comic deals. Some of my favorite... Uh, covers there and these guys are next we'll go over that in another another video because those are way too full so on to the main event we have my recording stage there with one of my favorite manga I own no longer human volume one through three and we've got some issue ones that I'm sure you guys are all familiar with so we'll just start at the top 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 we got the death note box set and some Naruto shoes that I just thought were cool and purchased on a whim we have Akira, The Large Guys by Kodansha, 1 through 6, All You Need Is Kill, Another, Blade of the Immortal Omnibus 1, Blam, Master Edition, number 1, Clockwork Planet, I think this is an alternate cover from the uh, Loot Anime, it might not be, but it came from Loot Anime, Corpse Party, Blood Covered 1 through 3, eh, I think I dropped that one, I'm not terribly interested in it. Gangsta 1 through 7. I think I heard that this is starting serialization again, which would be fantastic. 
Gangsta Curse Volume 1. Looking forward to Volume 2. We got Gyo. Nice hardcover. Happiness 1 through 3. One is on the recording stage. Inuyashiki 1 through 6. One's on the recording stage. These two are some fantastic new releases that I just love to death. We got JoJo. I have parts 1 and 2 over on the other shelf you saw. And we have Stardust Crusaders 1 and 2. Uh, Kill a Kill, one, one, two, and three. One here and two here are hard covers from Omakase before they went under. Uh, really wish this would have finished. It didn't even finish, and they didn't weren't able to hard cover the rest of it, which was sad. We got Mobile Suit Gundam: The Origin, beautiful hard covers. One, two, three, five, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Just missing, I think, four of those, which I should have coming in very soon. Monster, uh, what is this, Perfect Edition or something? We got one, three, four, and six. I should have that completed within a month or so. We got Neon Genesis, Evangelion, uh, Omnibus, one, what is that, two and five. I've got two and three, so those will be coming up soon. Ah, we got Scum's Wish, volume one and two. I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. We got Solanin, very good, of course. Sweetness and Lightning was garbage. Did not like it at all, dropped it. Terra from Mars, one through 16. Love, love this series. Love this series so much, except after like, about, about volume 18 and onward, gets pretty mad once they enter the Earth saga. But uh, more people need to check this out, it's fantastic. Tokyo Ghoul, one through 11, we all know it, we all like it, good stuff, can't wait till re. Uh, two duplicates, Ultraman 2 and Knights of Sidonia 15. I have duplicates of these for some reason. Tomie, I thought was awful. Did not enjoy it. Think it's his weakest work for sure. Ubo Blot, issue zero. I thought it was interesting that it had an issue zero, so I got it. Uh, interesting enough. I might pick up the rest, but it's pretty low on the list. Uzumaki, my favorite Junjei Ito work for sure. Vagamon, 1, 2, 3, and 11 of the Viz Bigs. I love this sprawling spine art. I can't wait to get the rest of this so I can look at that beautiful, beautiful spine. Uh, Yoamushi Petal, got that in one of the boxes. It's some kind of special edition, I think, or like special cover or something. I think it might just be the glossy uh, name or something. And then uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Legendary Edition. These are very nice. Uh, I can't wait to pick up the rest of these. They just look nice. Uh, like I said, the recording stage, uh, Girl on the Shore, <laughs> wow, that was a hardcore read, very interesting, I'd check it out if you're old enough, for sure, this is one that definitely needed the saran wrap, uh, A Silent Voice, one of the most beautiful stories I have read, it is absolutely fantastic, one through seven, Ajin, one through eight, one's on the recording stage, I love, love, love Ajin and basically anything that has to do with Immortals. Uh, and this is one of my favorites, so I'd recommend a lot more people check that out. It is really great. We got Akame Ga Kill 1 through 9. Uh, I enjoy it. It's a fun little romp. Um, interesting little deals with people and different uh, weapons and whatnot. Interesting. Uh, 1 through 4, it's uh, mostly about the girls, so I don't know. Maybe it's not targeted towards boys, but I'm not terribly interested in it. It's been interesting enough for me to keep getting it, but certainly weaker. Arpeggio Blue Steel, I thought that was retarded. I dropped it right away. Uh, Assassination Classroom 1 through 14, 15's on the way. This series just feels unnecessarily long. I guess it goes on till volume 21 or 20 or something, and I feel like this should have ended like at 10 or 11. Uh, it's just It's just dragging on in my opinion. We have Attack on Titan 1 through 15, Special Edition of 16, 17, and Special Edition of 18, 19, and 20. Attack on Titan's uh, up and down, hit or miss, getting a lot better in the latest chapters online and in the manga now. We've got Black Clover 1 through 5, super stereotypical, but good, I enjoy it. Uh, Berserk got the Volume 1 up top, and we've got Volumes 2 through 12. Volume 17, 22, 23, 32, and 37. I will have this completed by the end of the year. All in uh, reprints because I like spinal consistency. We got Blue Exorcist, Volumes 1 through 16. Another very stereotypical but very enjoyable series. I really enjoy this, especially around Volume 13 onward. Uh, really, really excellent. 
Dead Man Wonderland volumes 1 through 13 ones on the stage and this was the first manga I ever completed. I feel like it's either this or Death Note for people. Um, but enjoyed the hell of it and I love the alternating spines. We got Death Note 1 through 12 and 13 how to read. Uh, everybody knows Death Note. This thing's been talked to death. Good series, of course. We've got Devil's Line 1 through 5, ones on the recording stage. I don't know what it is about this series, but I enjoy the heck out of it. Dissolving Classroom. Uh, it was good. Uh, I put it up there with Junji Ito's best works, but it's 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 interesting. Uh, fake. I have no idea what this is. I got this when I bought No Longer Human as a throw-in from somebody, and uh, probably gonna burn it because I have no idea what it is, and it just looks weird. <laughs> Uh, we got Food Wars 1 through 16. Took me a while to get into this, but really like Food Wars. Fragments of Horror, a bunch of short stories by Junji Ito. Eh, I didn't really care for it too much. We got Hunter Hunter 2 and 2. For some reason, I don't have Volume 1, which is really irritating, but I somehow have two Volume 2s. Uh, but regardless, 2 through 33. Love Hunter Hunter. Wish there were more. Needs to start coming out a lot more. Really wish he had more assistance to help him get all this stuff done, but we all know how much of a stubborn ass, ass Togashi is. We got I Am A Hero Omnibus 1 and 2. Interesting series, very enjoyable. Um, it's unique, I'll give it that. We got Immortal Hounds 1 through 3, which I will recommend to everybody until I die. Another Immortal series that I just love, love, love. We've got Magical Girl Apocalypse 1 through 10 and Magical Girl Sight 1. Uh, it's my guilty pleasure. It's uh, weird, to say the least. We got Moggy Volumes 1 through 12 and down for 13 through 22. Uh, I enjoy the hell out of Moggy. Moggy is a very, very, very fun shonen series. Very, very well done. Uh, very excited with uh, Volume 22 kicking off New Arc. So looking forward to that very much. We've got My Hero Academia 1 through 7, which is a fantastic shonen series. I love the hell out of this. It smashes together my two loves of comics and manga. It's just excellent. Uh, Naruto, The Seventh Hokage, and The Scarlet Spring. Eh. Oh, it was more Naruto at the time to have, but it's it's pretty throwaway. Uh, no, go no Game, No Life 1 manga. It's now a... What do you call it? Light novel. Um, I'm glad because I don't want any more of this anyway. We got Noragami Stray Gods 1. This is a special cover or whatnot from one of the boxes. Uh, very interesting first volume. Uh, I'll check out the rest at some point. I really like their covers or their spines, my bad. Uh, no matter how I look at it, it's your guys' fault I'm not popular or Watamote as most know it. One through nine. I love the cringe. I enjoy the cringe. Give me more cringe. We got One Punch Man, Volume 1 through 11, another fantastic shonen. love the hell out of this series, and the art is just to die for. We got Parasite, Volumes 1 through 8, uh, everybody loves Parasite, if you haven't watched it or read it, do either one, because they're both excellent. I forgot to mention, Hunter x Hunter, you're better off watching it. The anime is phenomenal and does the manga so much more justice. We got Neo Parasite. Uh, I guess it was a bunch of shoujo mangakas writing in the Parasite universe. It was interesting. Um, yeah, I'd probably recommend it if you like Parasite. It was it was fun. Uh, Persona 3, that came in a box. Haven't read it. Don't care. Platinum N 1 through 2. Really hope this duo can pull out another amazing series. But so far, it's just boring. We've seen it all before, guys. Uh, Seraph of the End, uh, 1 through 11. I really enjoy this series. Uh, it's very interesting take on the vampire. Um, I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything special with the vampires, but it's it's good. I enjoy the the plot and everything. Uh, the spines are very, very cool, too. That, black, that green on black is awesome. We've got Seven Deadly Sins, 1 through 16, and 17, 18, and 19. The strong spine art alone is reason enough for me to buy this series. It's just, it's so, so fantastic. I really love it when series do this. It's so great. And we've got Smoke and Parade Volume 1, uh, edgy as hell, uh, guns blazing right out of the gate. Uh, pretty good, 
uh, waiting to see the plot actually develop in Volume 2, hopefully. We've got Soul Eater 1 through 25, one of my favorite series and one of the first series I owned that did something interesting with the spines, going from white to gray to grayer to black, black, blackest, and white at the end. So that was very cool. And one of the, probably one of the best endings uh, in manga I've ever read. Sword Art Online Progressive, uh, it's shiny, which is nice, but that's about it. I don't have any interest in Sword Art Online. We got The Flowers of Evil, a fantastic story wrapped in the most disgusting spine and covers I have ever seen. Vertical, you betray me, my love. To the Abandoned Sacred Beast 1 through 4, I think 5 might be out, but I'm not interested. Uh, I may finish it. It's somewhat interesting, but it just doesn't feel like it's for me. Uh, Trigun 1, that's its self-contained, and Trigun the Maxim 1. Eh, these uh, Trigun's from my childhood, so I want to read it, but these omnibus are just so, so god-awful. I might finish the Omnibuy and then get the single issues, or I might just get the single issues, but if I'm going to read it, I'm getting the single issues. It's The, the Omnibuy are just terrible. We've got Twin Star Exorcist 1 through 7. Very interesting series. I think more people need to check this out. And again, we got the alternating black and white covers that are just fantastic. The, the fiery font on the title is uh, very interesting too. Enjoy that. Witchbuster Omnibus 1, Volumes 1 and 2, um, the only manhwa I own. I really like the series. I'll probably pick more up, but as far as I'm aware, it's on hiatus at like volume, what, like 18 or something like that? Uh, Your Lie in April, Volume 1. I read the first one. It was all right, uh, but people told me to watch the anime, so I watched the anime instead. And yeah, as a musical-based series, the uh, anime does a much, much better job. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho 1 through 19, a great series, great start for Yoshihiro Togashi, but in my opinion, it has not aged well, and the final two volumes were a disgustingly pitiful end to the series. It went out with a whimper, and it was truly, truly sad. So, that is my room tour and my manga collection tour. I hope you guys all enjoyed the beauty that is my wall of Weeboo and the cat. Lucy, you want to say bye? Yeah, you say bye to everybody. Yeah, Lucy says bye to everybody. And then, of course, one last look at the other shelf. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to drink your RX energies, stay hydrated and energized, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Like a hell cut.